worked through the night to clean up the damage and restore power after those severe storms ripped across the state. At the height of it, more than 130,000 homes and businesses lost power. Right now, that number is down to about 35,000. WBC's Lisa Greshi has a look at the cleanup efforts. This Hanover neighborhood now home to some of that damage. This is Union Street where you can see there's still debris all over the road. One homeowner here says powerful winds took down a massive tree in her yard. And she says it sounded like an explosion. And I heard this big boom like a bomb went off. That sound, 80-year-old Mary Thorne heard, was her garage being split in half by the tree. That's what it was. This huge tree. She thought nothing would be strong enough to rip out of the ground. I figured that's never coming down. Well, it came down <laughs> with a bang. As cleanup continues throughout the neighborhood, the powerful winds caused similar problems across Massachusetts. In Needham, a tree split between two homes. And I just heard this incredible gust of wind, and then the next thing there was just this incredible crash. In Medford, another crashed down on a moving car. Amazingly, the driver wasn't hurt. And in Wilmington, a father was taken to the hospital with a leg injury after a tree crashed through his home, despite the serious damage. We're incredibly lucky. Um, it's stuff, and stuff can be replaced. Many counting their blessings, knowing a strong enough wing gust in the wrong direction could have cost them much more. If it fell the other way, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Hey. I'm alive, my house is fine, and I thank God for that. He was with me. As far as the damage done, the homeowner's niece says her aunt didn't have home insurance. So right now, the family has no idea how they're going to pay to fix all the damage. Reporting in Hanover, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.